step all the way into the cabin. When the doors close, you are free to move about the cabin during your ride on the high roller. Step all the way into the cabin. When the doors close, you are free to move about the cabin during your ride on the high roller. Stand clear of the doors. The cabin is leaving the wheelhouse. Please stand clear of the doors. Hello, and welcome to the high roller. As we start making our way to the top, let me tell you a little about the high roller and my favorite city, Las Vegas. Let's start by rolling some numbers, big numbers, like 7.3 million tons of steel, 40,000 cubic yards of poured concrete, and roller bearings weighing nearly 10 tons each. These are just some of the components that make up the high roller. It's a modernized Ferris wheel, a masterpiece of engineering, design, technology, and physics. Hubs, spindles, spokes. It took three years to put the high roller's 20,000 stationary parts and moving pieces together, using some intricate and demanding construction. Parts were crafted all over the world and delivered to Las Vegas, where the wheel was then assembled on site. Nearly every aspect of the high roller surpasses all other observation wheels. From its scale to size, the high roller towers above the rest. With each rotational journey, the high roller is propelling 28 cabins, weighing in at 44,000 pounds each, up to the astounding 550-foot apex. That's the equivalent of raising more than 1.2 million pounds up a 60-story building. That's just one of the many pieces of what makes the high roller experience one for the record books and one to remember. Now, if you think Las Vegas is full of characters today, let me tell you about a character that helped shape this city, Bugsy Siegel. Bugsy was a notorious mobster, but he was also a visionary. 
In the early 1940s, he came to the Nevada desert and envisioned an oasis. An oasis of nightclubs, casinos, hotels, showgirls. You know, Vegas. In 1946, Siegel gained control of a Las Vegas hotel. I won't tell you exactly how he did it, but it wasn't pretty. Rumor has it, he renamed it the Flamingo, after his girlfriend Virginia Hill and her long, skinny legs. Bugsy spent big fixing up the Flamingo, lining up the best in booze, food, entertainment, and gambling. Sound familiar? Unfortunately for Bugsy, when the hotel did open in December of 46, problems mounted, the casino was losing, and he was forced to shut down. He tried to reboot the project a few months later, but Siegel was out of time. That summer, Bugsy was shot dead, and his killer was never found. But Bugsy's idea put him at the forefront of the boom to develop Vegas into a gambler's paradise, one he is still recognized for today. You can even check out a memorial to him on the site where the flamingo originally stood, in the middle of the current flamingo's wildlife habitat. With the groundwork for what the valley could become laid out, Las Vegas was now open for business. By 1954, more than 8 million visitors were coming to town and laying down $200 million a year. Some were even lucky enough to take a few bucks home, making Vegas a destination for quick wins along with glitz and glamour. Soon, Las Vegas began attracting some of the country's top performers. Elvis made his first appearance in 1956, and by 1962, audiences flocked to see the Rat Pack in action as they played to packed houses. Then, in 1966, Vegas took another leap forward with the opening of its most lavish resort of the time, Caesars Palace. This stunning masterpiece was a game changer for the Vegas Strip and set the bar for all future Vegas casinos and resorts. Caesars Palace quickly became the gold standard of Las Vegas entertainment. From iconic championship boxing to the legendary performers on stage to fine dining and reinventing the retail shopping experience. Today, Caesars Palace Race and Sportsbook is recognized as one of the best sportsbooks in Las Vegas. Caesars also owns the most trusted name in poker, the World Series of Poker, held annually at the Rio. And Caesars Palace continues to innovate with being the first to introduce popular artists in residence with the Coliseum. With these new precedents for lavishly designed resorts, exciting casino action, and world-class entertainment, Las Vegas Strip has exploded into what you see before you today. Look all around. Las Vegas is one of the world's top entertainment destinations. And to think, it all started with a mobster's dream.
Wow, look at that view. But there's a lot you can see from up here beyond the Las Vegas Strip. Starting to the southwest, looking over the Flamingo, lies Death Valley National Park, roughly 120 miles away, which protects the northwest corner of the Mojave Desert and includes Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America, some 280 feet below sea level. Now, looking to the northwest, past Caesars Palace, some 25 miles away, is the Red Rock Canyon Conservation Area, with its copper-colored formations, sandstone peaks, and dramatic walls known as the Keystone Thrust. Now, if you can keep a secret, about 90 miles to the north, looking well beyond the end of the strip, lies the place that everyone has heard of, even though it supposedly doesn't exist, Area 51. You are free to speculate on your own, but we are not going to say anything more. Except there's a lot of rumors flying around about it being a remote military base under heavy security where they test extraterrestrial technologies and keep the remains of crash site alien bodies. But you didn't hear it from me. Continuing to move clockwise, looking off to the southeast, away from the Strip, the Grand Canyon is 175 miles away, on the other side of Lake Mead. before your cabin reaches the apex of the high roller above the Las Vegas Strip. Soak in that view, savor this moment. Count it down with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Congratulations, you've made it to the top. 550 feet above the Las Vegas Strip. You are now a true high roller. To appreciate how high this is, look out the window. You're higher than the Eiffel Tower, at least the Vegas version. You're higher than the Statue of Liberty, and that's the Vegas version on top of the original in New York City. You surpassed the height of the ancient pyramids of Egypt, as well as the not-so-ancient pyramid on the Strip. We've crested the top, but there's still a lot to see on our descent, especially when we can travel back in time to this very same spot some 200 million years ago. In the middle of the Triassic era, what is now Las Vegas was submerged beneath an ancient inland sea teeming with unique and ferocious prehistoric creatures. 
By 100 million years ago, the sea had evaporated and was now populated with land dinosaurs whose fossilized remains have been discovered across the region. All of this was contained within the Las Vegas Basin, created by the mountains you see around you that were once active volcanoes whose molten magma cooled to shape the desert landscape. Speed up the clock to 10,000 years ago, and nomadic Paleo-Indian tribes traveled across this great desert landscape, leaving behind petroglyphs. Two thousand years ago, the Anasazi and Paiute tribes settled here. Native Americans remained the area's exclusive residents until 1829, when a Mexican scout reached a mesa overlooking this great valley and saw its desert grass and cool springs. He named it Las Vegas, Spanish for the meadows. For nearly a century, Las Vegas was a popular spot for explorers such as John C. Fremont, but largely remained a small frontier town in the middle of the desert with a population of 400 people. Only one word can express how a frontier town turned into what you see today. Dam. As in the Hoover Dam, just 40 miles to the southeast. Construction on the dam began in 1931 and took four years to complete, but the dam created something even bigger, Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir, which has more than 700 miles of shoreline. The Hoover Dam transformed the area, providing the conditions that allowed residents to begin moving to Las Vegas and to launch the beginnings of that glamorous oasis in the desert.
Here on the High Roller, you've seen Las Vegas from a totally different perspective. In a few minutes, our journey together will come to an end. But in true Vegas fashion, we want you to go out and hit the town like a high roller. Directly below you, the Link Promenade offers a unique collection of dining and bars. From tacos to burgers, beers to cocktails, there are plenty of options to refuel before you set off on your next Vegas adventure. Vegas is a shopper's paradise and home to the best brands in the world. Find that special souvenir or that perfect outfit for a night out on the town at one of the Link's many boutique offerings or across the street at the Forum Shops at Caesars with an impressive collection of premium brands and retail stores. Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world, so surely you have plans to catch some shows while you're here. Here at The Link, prepare for a night of magic with Matt Franco, winner of America's Got Talent. He's so good, he even made himself disappear from a cabin right here on the high road. Or check out how Caesars Palace continues to raise the bar for incredible entertainment and top performers, with its resident artists including Celine Dion, Elton John, Rod Stewart, Jerry Seinfeld, Mariah Carey, and Reba, Brooks and Dunn. You can also take in shows with popular musical legends like Donnie and Marie or Olivia Newton-John right next door at the Flamingo. Just down the street, pop icons take the stage inside the Axis at Planet Hollywood. Britney Spears' Piece of Me and Jennifer Lopez' All I Have are two spectacular concert shows you do not want to miss. And here's a tip. Be sure to add the bottle service for a truly unique Vegas concert meets nightclub show. Legendary performers, masters of magic, hilarious comedy, amazing concerts. Las Vegas is truly the best place in the world for live entertainment happening every night. Don't forget to stop by the Total Snapshots booth as you exit to check out your own souvenir high roller photo. 
Be sure to sign up for Total Rewards if you're not a member already and enjoy amazing offers and discounts. Members earn their way to comps, priority access, exclusive offers, and so much more across nine Las Vegas resorts as well as casinos across the country, but only with Total Rewards. Incredible culinary experiences, amazing shows of magic and wonder, top performers taking the stage every night, world-class shopping adventures, and, of course, non-stop casino excitement. Las Vegas certainly has come a long way from its humble desert oasis beginnings. And so have you, towering above Las Vegas on the high roller. We're at the end of our journey together. We hope you enjoyed the high roller experience and wish you all the luck in the world during your visit to Las Vegas. Please follow all instructions for safely disembarking from the cabin and entering the wheelhouse. of the doors. The cabin is approaching the wheelhouse. You will be exiting the doors on the other side of the cabin from where you entered. Lights around the doors will begin flashing to indicate which doors to exit the cabin. Be sure to gather all your belongings, including children, coupons, and casino companions, as well as any trash or personal items prior to leaving the cabin. Please be careful when exiting the high roller. Watch your step and follow all crew member instructions. Restrooms are located on the second floor of the wheelhouse. Thanks again for making the high roller a part of your plans today. Come back anytime you're ready to enjoy the best high roller view in Las Vegas. Remember to watch your step, both here on the loading platform and later tonight on the dance floor. Exit the cabin now. The doors are closing.